Hey Broadway.com, it's me, Ariana DeVos. Uh, it's week four of the Bronx Bullet Vlog. I hope you enjoy this week's footage. Uh, you get three really awesome moments. Uh, a look into a talk that Nick Cordero and I did for Jane Jordan's Fit for Broadway workshop. Uh, I visited my friend Eric Scotto over at Something Rotten. Uh, he's playing the bard, he's so fierce. And last but certainly not least, a look into my experience at the Hamilton documentary screening for PBS. I hope you enjoy this week, and as always, let me know what you think. Hashtag Bronx Bullet. Uh, tweet me or talk to me on Instagram. You know what to do. Be sexy. Stay close. So that's sort of when I began to figure it out, and then with uh, Pippin, you know, I uh, began to realize that I was weak. <laughs> Didn't have any upper body strength. There you go. You know, I'm like a covering lead in player. I mean, actually, I like uh, covered the in between points between Sierra and I, Carmen Jordan, and I had to like be on this. What is it? A trapeze? Yeah. So I had to do this trapeze routine like a solid eight times a week, and I was like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That's a really long way down. <laughs> Chalk holds up, and I'm like, hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> pretty, this is terrifying. Hi guys! Yeah. Um, and after that, I was like, I've had enough. So I started running and did like a mile every day. And my stamina for my shows increased. So it's a real shame that I didn't figure that out <laughs> until I brought my shows into it. Nick, your turn! <laughs> It's something that uh, I've started taking seriously pretty recently. <laughs> I mean, I've worked out, you know what I mean? Fits and spurts uh, my whole life, but um, certainly as I've gotten older, I've realized its importance. Hello, Broadway.com. Hello. It's, it's my friend, Eric Scotto. <laughs> and he just finished playing the bard in something rotten tonight. And he was amazing. I'm Very obsessed. Nice. Like, and I also, like, Broadway.com knows I'm not good at holding this thing. Oh, so it's it alright. Let it go, because she's real talented. I'm, yeah, it makes up for <laughs> it. If I go like that, there you yeah, go. Yeah, there's, there, oh, there right, you are. Right, right. Okay, so Eric. Yeah. How long have you known me? I've known you well, a long time. Was that 06? <laughs> I think so. It's pretty close. It was longer than that. Freshman year. You were like 15. Yeah, 06. She was then. 15. I was directing a production of Aida in North Carolina mm -hmm. for like all the county. And in comes this kid who was like, I just want to dance. And she was fierce, <laughs> shocking. And uh, the music director was like, no, 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 you got to hear her sing. So I was like, great. There she was. Boom. Nailed it. Aida. She was fierce. It was incredible. I was terrified. I was learning how to sing from that album. Thank you, Heather. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. But you did, a, you did a pretty okay job. Um, I think it worked out. You might have a career too. someday. I know. I mean, <laughs> what I want to be when I grow up. Is Eric? Oh, so there's that. You're the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hi, Broadway.com. So I'm here. I'm inside the palace. It's beautiful. And say hi. So, how beast the Bronx Bullet? Bronx oh Bullet. Oh my god. Hi, Broadway.com. Oh my god. How are you Um, What are you wearing? This is everything. Um, What, are, what is this? Oh my god. Home. Okay. Sorry. I can't with him. I always bring the goons. You do bring the goons. And goodbye. Thank you and good luck.